Pablo Picasso, one of the most notable artists of the 20th century, produced more than 147,000 works consisting of 13,500 paintings, 100,000 prints and engravings, 300 sculptures and ceramics, and 34,000 illustrations. A 78-year career. But how was he able to maintain such an impressive production rate throughout his entire life? And what if we could learn to embody some of this productivity and creativity in our own lives? Well, in this video, we're going to learn what made Picasso an insanely productive artist and what we can do to become more productive and creative in our own lives. And at the end of the video, we'll weave it all together into one simple technique that I call the Picasso rule that literally anyone on the planet can use to overcome procrastination within 10 minutes. Picasso's life was a demonstration of the power of relentless creativity and work ethic. Take, for instance, his blue period characterized by his monochromatic paintings in shades of blue and blue-green. For Picasso, this phase was marked by profound emotional and financial turmoil following the suicide of his close friend Carlos Casagemas. But instead of succumbing to despair, Picasso channeled his grief into his art, producing works that not only defined an entire era of his career, but also demonstrated his ability to use adversity as a springboard for creativity. The ability to channel personal hardship into productivity gave Picasso powerful momentum with his work that allowed his creativity to flourish. His artistic philosophy was rooted in the idea that action and work itself are the most significant sources of inspiration. But of course, Picasso's work ethic wasn't confined to periods of emotional upheaval. In fact, his entire career was characterized by a constant exploration of new styles and mediums. From the pioneering shapes of cubism to the vibrant surrealism of his later years, Picasso never allowed himself to stagnate. His philosophy was simple. I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. Personally, I found this principle of momentum to be a really powerful antidote to procrastination. Just facing that resistance head on and getting started whether or not I feel like it uh, is just a really powerful way I've found to get that kind of creative momentum. And I know that the best results in my life always come when I have momentum, whether it's in the domain of creating some kind of project or working on my business or even something like fitness. Another fascinating aspect of Picasso's life was his daily routine. He was a night owl. He slept little and often worked for up to 14 hours a day. He worked deep into the earlier hours of the morning. Picasso once said, only put off until tomorrow what you're willing to die having left undone. Although I don't think working 14 hours a day is very sustainable for most of us, or that it's even healthy for that matter, I think there's something to be said about working longer periods of time, working in these chunks of uninterrupted focus, because of the momentum that you can get from these kinds of sessions. Personally, I've found that the best work sessions I have are when I'm able to sit down and focus on one task without interruption for an extended period of time. This is when I get the best results. This is when I produce my best stuff. So how do we distill what we've learned from Picasso into actionable steps to combat procrastination? I want to leave you with a practical exercise that I call the 10-minute Picasso rule. Number one, identify a single task. Start by choosing a task you've been avoiding, something that you've been putting off recently. Two, set a timer for 10 minutes. Commit to working on your task for just 10 minutes. Not one hour, not two hours, just 10 minutes. Number three, work without distractions. For those 10 minutes, give your full, undivided attention to the task. No distractions, no breaks, just focus. Often you'll find that the hardest part of the task was just to get started and that you're now in a better place to keep going. Number four, decide on the next steps. If you feel energized and you want to continue, set a timer for another 10 minutes and keep going. If not, you've still made progress, you've still done 10 minutes of work that you wouldn't have done otherwise, and that's a, that's a win. Repeat this technique daily, or whenever you feel or experience procrastination, to build and maintain momentum in your projects. Picasso once said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. With the 10-minute Picasso rule, you're not just waiting for inspiration. 
you're actively inviting it into your life through action. So I challenge you, try out this technique the next time you're avoiding an important task. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos about productivity, learning, and the creative process. My name's Samuel and I'm signing off.